Hello everybody, Father Michael here from St. Francis of Assisi Parish in Marshalltown, Iowa. And today's gospel made me think of a certain phrase that I've heard a lot in my time in religious circles. And that phrase is cafeteria Catholic. Um, that phrase gets thrown around sometimes, especially when you study theology or you're around a lot of people who um, maybe think highly of themselves and the and what they know in theology. So that phrase is cafeteria Catholic, meaning that you go around and you choose whatever, like you would at a cafeteria, you choose the foods that you'd like and you leave the ones you don't. So that you can pick and choose, what the analogy being that you can pick and choose what teachings of the church you like and you want to hold on to and believe in and if there's some that are harder for you or things that you don't agree with that you can leave them there that that's okay we can i'll just take the ones that i like and and not eat the other ones um and we see that with our gospel today with jesus saying that he has not come to abolish the law but to fulfill it that that's not really possible that's not possible for us because jesus not only comes, um, you know, he comes in and the people that day, the Jews of that day would probably be thinking when he's teaching that everything he's saying sounds like it's a whole new teaching that is over and against the law of the, the Jewish law of Moses. But Jesus kind of even intuits what they're going to think saying, no, he's not come to abolish that law, but he is the fulfillment of that. He brings about the seeds that were present in that law already, those good things that that law is supposed to bring about and through Jesus, now those things come to fruition in a greater way. I think about it like this. Before, with Moses in the law that was given on Mount Sinai, that the law was kind of like a long email that God wrote to us. So in an email, you have to be a little bit more explicit with what you're saying. You have to spell out what you mean. Sometimes, instead of emailing someone, I like to just send... I like to call them on the phone or do a FaceTime with them because it's a lot easier to express myself in words and, or face to face. And that is what we have here with Jesus today in the Sermon on the Mount. He is expressing God's, God's almighty word. He's expressing the true law, the, tra- the law of love that is present in himself in words. So Jesus doesn't have to use all of the old words of the prophets or or the law to get across his point. So my friends, remember today that we can't pick and choose what things we like about our faith, but we we accept them as true even if they don't quite we don't quite understand them. There's always room for us to ask questions with our faith and we don't have to be 100% okay with every single thing that we hear, but it, our duty is is to to believe those things anyway, or to take them in and ponder them, to ask questions, to seek the answers to them. A big part of my own growing in faith was a time where I was able to ask a lot of questions, like, why do we do this at Mass? Or, why does the church teach this? And with trusted people who knew more than I did, I was able to get those questions answered. So my friends, I encourage you today to not be a cafeteria Catholic, but to take it all. And to take it all in and begin to understand in deeper ways so that we might be people who are both the law and Jesus, Jesus who fulfills the law, people who believe in his word above all. God bless you.